medical emergency. Of course, I understand. I Three days after can't this imagine what it was like. Highland Park? You've got to be kidding me. Athena tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why he made us look like idiots? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you what. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I didn't. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit, but at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in... well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty quick to cultivate certain types of relationships.
Hey, Jensen. The boss said you were on your way. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry, we'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that. Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that mark, Hengsha Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Get to the the Hong Hong Hua Hong Hong Hua Hong Hua the hotel. Oh, I see. You know, it's an amazing view yeah. of the city. What are you looking for, La Wei? Guns? I think bringing in Bell Tower to police the city is a great thing for Shanghai. I'm sure some of those corrupt officials in the Chinese bureaucracy are having some of this nice these days. Do you think Bell Tower isn't corrupt? I've seen them look the other way lots of times when they try for taking down the line. Bell Tower's got the whole apartment complex locked down. Nobody I knows why. I need to why. get something in my apartment. I don't care what kind of operation is going on. Bell Tower is conducting an investigation in this building, sir. No admittance. Malik, you might have been right about that trap. Hengsha Court Gardens is under lockdown by Bell Tower Associates. Bell Tower? They're the police in Lower Hengsha, Jensen. They're under contract with the Chinese government. You think the Chinese... I won't know anything until I get inside that penthouse.
panic room, but we couldn't decrypt the computer code. He must have something really juicy in his hard drive. He's got to have a password for it. I'm more concerned about where he might have gone to. Maybe his password is something Dutch-like. Did you try Poppy or Clog? You're an idiot. If we don't find this guy in the next few hours, shit is going to be hitting the fan in every room in the ranch. No kidding. The commander's going to have our heads for dinner. Stop right there! Damn elevator. No idea, sir. Well, you better find it. That elevator has to be free at all times. Our specialist needs to get up here and... What Some the hell is that? <laughs>
Get word to Pritchard, Malik. The hacker who's been attacking us goes by the handle Windmill. Real name's Ari Van Bruggen. Bell Tower's been brought in to arrest him. Arrest? Or get rid of? Either way, he found out someone was gunning for him and took off. We need to find him. There's a nightclub near where I dropped you called The Hive. It's notorious in black market circles. If this Dutchman is running, his first stop will be there. I'll have a chat with the owner. Jensen, figured you might want a heads up before you stroll into the hive. The owner's name is Tong Si Hung, Tong being his last name. Rumor is, he's tied to the triads. China's organized crime lords. How wonderful. Anyone else want a piece of this pie?
Access granted. My buddy Les never pays to get into the hive. Does he know one of the bouncers? No. That cheap son of a bitch knows the secret way in through the back alley. But we share it with the rest of them. Somebody told us that the hive is the place to go around here. Yes. Many business people from Upper Hangsha go there. The hive is a member's only club, Lao Wai. Without a membership card, I can't let you in. You telling me I gotta pay to get into this dive? We've got a reputation to keep. Can't let just anyone get in here. Just anyone with the money. No pay, no play. You want in or not? Here, take it. Thank you, sir. Here is your membership card. Welcome to the Hive. I'm sure you will enjoy our establishment. You got a favorite poison? I'm looking for Tong. Everyone wants to talk to Tong. Check the VIP lounge upstairs. So I see this guy laying on the ground. You could say that. Good. I need to see your boss. Really? Well, I'm sorry, Guailo. Mr. Tong Zi Hong sees no one today. Look, I didn't come halfway around the world to take no for an answer. Do us both a favor and tell me where he is. Or what? You get mad and tear down a few walls with those enhancements of yours? This place isn't named the Hive for nothing. It's got plenty of worker bees come out of the paneling to stop you. What is it you think Mr. Tong do for you anyway? I'm looking for someone. A cybersecurity specialist named Ari Van Bruggen. You know him? Never heard of him. What'd he do? Steal your girl? Owe you money? He had a job go bad, and now he's on the run from the people who hired him. But you knew that already. Because a man like Mr. Tong doesn't hire idiots. And this is the first place people like Van Bruggen come when they need... help. So stop wasting my time and take me to Tong. You've got it backward, boy. You're wasting my time. Van Bruggen is minor league player. Tong knows who he is. He just don't care. He's got bigger things to worry about.
The people hunting Van Bruggen work on an international scale. If he's not on your radar yet, then Tong is way behind. I can help him catch up, but only if we pool our information. Don't try to bullshit a bullshitter. Van Bruggen's the only game in town. You know it, I know it, so of course Tong knows it. You can tell us nothing we don't already know. But here's something you don't know. Van Bruggen's trained in counterintelligence. That's how he got his hacker skills, among other things. You look under every rock on this island, but he's gone. You're never gonna find him. You see that bodyguard over there? If you're gonna play tricks on the Guaylo, you gotta train your people better. Everything about him is shouting out who you really are, Mr. Tong. Now how about we go someplace private? Unless you want everyone in the club to know what you're hiding. Fine. Fine. I'll meet you in my office. Downstairs in the basement. The boys will let you through. So, we got some privacy now. How about you tell me who you work for? Then I decide what I tell you about Van Bruggen. Does the name Seraph Industries ring any bells? Seraph Industries? Isn't that that American company stole all the headlines a while back? You're still in business. Why wouldn't we be? Check the news. Biotech corporations seem to be failing a lot these days, especially the ones who are making enhancements. Van Bruggen's in the Alice Garden Pots, Capsule 301. Place is a rat hole, but it's useful sometimes. Make sure you leave him in the same shape you find him. And if I don't? Your call. But those implants of yours might look even more special on somebody else. Malik, you were right. Tong is helping Van Bruggen. He stashed him in the Alice Garden Pots. Thought as much. A hacker who knows his way around corporate firewalls would make a valuable asset for the triads. I'm at the pods myself, Jensen. Want me to run interfere? Hey, leaving already, tough guy. Because you might want to go over to the bar and order yourself a drink before you do. Maybe Bobby will have something for you. Bobby? The bartender. The real bartender, that is. <laughs> Thanks. I just might check that out. You do that. What can I get you? Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah. Not like I'm busy.
里烧焦的，我的朋友。我听说他们想特价，改变特价，特价。那我们这些租房的怎么办？把我们都赶出去吗？他们不能这么做。他们有些人已经在这住了很多年了。我们可能根本没有选。这个月又得捉襟见肘了。房租钱又不够了。嘘，你知道杰很爱偷听别人。感觉到他就在那躺着呢。哦，对，不好意思。哎，你找到工作了吗？没有，你呢？ Jensen, I, I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. It, I didn't do anything. Trust me, Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Malik? Jensen, if you even think of using that Casey mod on me, I will hit you. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just concerned, that's all. Fine, since you're so damn curious. Years ago, I used to live here, remember? My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Made living here fun. But then, there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. I knew he was trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. That's just it. There was no investigation. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. If I could get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is starting to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. I know. He's just trying to protect himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengshaw Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. I know, I know. Anonymous X. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, before I forget, everything concerning Evelyn's... incident? Newspaper articles, the police report, limb details, it's all inside pod 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen.